don't try this at home. We're almost professionals. With the combined experience of over two days special effects and no camera experience, our sleuths are ready to take on any myth that comes their way. Ben has the brains while Jaren has the bronze. There's no fooling around with these guys when it comes to blowing stuff up. On today's episode, Benjamin and Jaren are going to take a deeper look at the myth of Mentos and Diet Coke, starting now on another episode of Mythbusters Houston. Today's myth stems from an email we received wanting us to look deeper into the Diet Coke Mentos myth. We've already seen that Mentos and Diet Coke mixed together can cause a chemical reaction. What we're trying to find out today is that if, it's, if that chemical reaction comes only from Diet Coke or if it's carbonation in any drink. So what we're going to do is we're going to try it on Diet Coke, Coke, and sparkling water. If the test works on all three, we know the myth is busted. If it doesn't, we know the myth is true. I believe it's the carbonation that causes the chemical reaction, so I think it's going to work in all three drinks. I disagree, Ben. I think it's going to be just Diet Coke because of the aspartame. In order to review the results, Ben and Jaren have set up a high-speed camera to capture spewage. All right, we just came back in from outside. It's raining, so we're going to wait a little bit and go out and do the experiment. What are we going to work with first? Let's go ahead and start with the sparkling water. It's got the least uh, components in it, and we already know that the Diet Coke or we understand that it works already. That's right. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right. Okay. All right, let's see what you happens. Ready? All right, open it up. You ready? Yeah, let's see if I can get this thing quick enough. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Should we use another bottle? Ready? Oh, this is ridiculous. It's, it's very fizzy. That was kind of lame. Let's take a look at that with the high speed camera. You can see that the water doesn't even get as tall as one of the building's cinder blocks. All right, obviously there's more carbonation involved in uh, this water. There's more opening the lid than putting the Mentos in. Let's go ahead and try the Coke and see what happens. It's a step in between the Diet Coke and the sparkling water. Maybe we'll get more effect. All right, let's do it. Let's go. All right, this time we're gonna use Coke and you're gonna be the dropper. What do you think the results are? Pay attention to the height. Here we go. Oh, how to get it all in there. <laughs> now for a look at it with the high speed camera. You can see that Coke goes seven times as high as the water, making a big splash into the myth. Well, that actually worked really well. The Coke did, uh, did a whole lot better than the sparkling water. Well. The miss actually about Diet Coke. Let's go see if that does any better. Okay. Let's go. Right. Unleash it. Let's see what happens. Ready? Yes. And stand back. Whoa! Wow, let's take a look at that again in slow motion. We can clearly see that the Diet Coke goes all the way out of the frame, showing that, for this myth, Diet Coke is king. Woo! Good explosion. Wow. A lot better than the other two. Yeah, the Diet Coke really worked well. Yeah, why do you think that is? Well, uh, obviously, it's got uh, caffeine in it. It's uh, carbonated, just like the rest of it. Mm -hmm. uh, Diet Coke and Coke has phosphoric acid, which I think adds to it. But uh, Diet Coke having the aspartame, I think, really gives it that extra oomph. Wow. It pushed it up, you know, even a lot, two or three times higher than, than it the, sure did. The regular Coke. So. Huh? You think the myth is busted or true? I would have to say that uh, this myth is busted. busted. 